My true cost of ownership series continues. This is where I take a deep dive look at the five and 10 year numbers of depreciation, resale value, maintenance and repair costs, fuel, insurance, and financing. All factors I think will help you in your research process for a particular vehicle. By the way, if you have a suggestion for a vehicle you want me to do a similar report on, leave in the comment section below. Let's get started. A GMC Canyon will depreciate in value almost $15,000 after five years. This is something difficult to avoid, but it can be managed. Depreciation is the difference between the original sales price and what the vehicle will be worth in the future. When new, a typically equipped Canyon sells for $37,000 on average. After five years of depreciation, the average residual value will be just over 22 grand. And this represents the vehicle's retail market price, although trade-in and private sales prices will likely be lower. This chart here shows the expected depreciation for the next 10 years on a Canyon. These results are for vehicles in good condition, averaging 12,000 miles per year. Again, assuming a selling price of 37 grand when new. If you bought a Canyon that's two years old, you could save 9,600 bucks compared to buying new and still have a relatively new model on your hands with plenty of useful life remaining. If you plan on keeping it for three years, your total cost of depreciation, just over 5,100 bucks. So you're looking at the best model year to buy. Well, the 2020 is the top pick for model year value. With it, you would only pay on average 80% of the price as new with 92% of the vehicle's useful life remaining. The 2019 and 2018 model years are also attractive and provide a relatively good value, value based on a number of factors, including its price as new, current price, maintenance costs, and remaining years of overall predictable expenses. Maintenance and repair costs now. It'll be around 2,300 bucks out of your pocket after five years. Expenses include scheduled maintenance, normal wear and tear items, and expected repairs, excluding any free warranty work performed. Now, those numbers go up quite a bit after 10 years of ownership, $8,700 in maintenance repairs. This does beat the industry average for popular pickup models by $1,200, almost $1,300. There's also a 26.25% chance that a Canyon will require a major repair during that time. This is 4.75% worse and similar vehicles in the segment. And major repairs is defined by anything exceeding $500, including parts and labor. The average annual cost for auto insurance in the Canyon is around 1,500 bucks, which adds up to $7,400 after five years of ownership. These insurance costs are estimates based on a national average for a 40-year-old, full coverage, good driving record, and good credit. Financing now, assuming a 72-month loan with an APR of 4.75% and 20% down, you're looking at 4,300 bucks after five years. Financing costs are a vehicle's cost that you can control though. Your interest expense can be greatly reduced by either changing your loan term, improving your credit score, or increasing your down payment. Fuel economy, a Canyon gets on average 21 miles per gallon, which will cost you around $9,000 in fuel cost after five years or 1,800 bucks a year. These estimates are based on recently collected national averages for fuel prices, assuming that you drive 12,000 miles per year, 55% in the city, and 45% on the highway. Well, I certainly hope this helps you in your research process of this particular vehicle. If you're looking for the best deals and want to get a free quote in your area on a new or used vehicle of your choice, just type in the make model in your zip code at quotes.everymandriver.com and you'll get the best deals from qualified dealerships in your area. I've also included a link to the source material Material of this video in the description below. And as a bonus right now, here are two more videos on other vehicles you might find interest in. You asked for it, here it is. A Ford F-150 will depreciate 39% after five years and have a five-year resale value of 26,500. F-150 pickup has been the best-selling vehicle since the beginning of time. Adam and Eve were driving an F-150. One thing that keeps them going is that they hold their value very well, and they are a good investment from a vehicle perspective. The F-150 ranks in the top 10 models in years three and five, but trails the Silverado as more time goes by. However, the results are so close that the choice between Ford and Chevy should be based upon other factors and not just value retention. Half-ton pickup trucks hold their value extremely well, and the F-150 is no exception. Check out this chart here, which shows the expected depreciation on a F-150 for the next 10 years. These results are for vehicles in good condition, averaging 12,000 miles per year, also assuming a selling price of about 43,500 when new. 
So buy new versus used. If you purchase a used F-150 that's two years old, you could save over nine grand compared to buying new and still have a relatively new model with plenty of useful life remaining. If you plan on keeping the vehicle for three years, then your total cost of depreciation would be 7,700 bucks. Insurance now, the average cost to insure a F-150 is around 1,600 bucks a year. Adds up to just over eight grand after five years of ownership, unlike depreciation though. This expense can often be lower by shopping around for lower insurance premiums. This chart shows the breakdown on the best model years to buy an F-150 and the 2020 is the top pick based on overall best model year value with it. You would only pay, on average, 87% of the price as new with 92% of the vehicle's useful life remaining. The 2019 and 2021 model years are also pretty attractive and provide a really good value, value based on a lot of different factors including its price as new, current price, maintenance costs, and remaining years of overall predictable expenses. Speaking of maintenance, repair costs for an F-150 over five years or after five years will be around $2,700. And these are for scheduled maintenance costs, normal wear and tear items that have to be replaced and expected repairs, excluding any free warranty work that's performed. If you plan on financing an F-150, if you went with a 72 month loan, APR of 4.75% and you put 20% down, It'll cost $5,000 approximately after five years to finance a new one. The fuel economy on average, 20 miles per gallon, which works out to around 9,300 bucks in fuel after five years, assuming you drive 12,000 miles per year, 55% in the city, 45% on the highway. This works out to about 1,800 bucks a year in gas, estimates based on recently collected national averages for fuel prices. Just last year, the F-150 was fully redesigned. The most notable change was the addition of the 3.5 liter turbocharged V6 hybrid setup that's available across the lineup. There's also an available 12 inch infotainment touchscreen, fully reclinable front seats, a tailgate that doubles as a workspace and an onboard generator. F-150, best-selling full-size truck in the country thanks to a wide range of trims, multiple engine options, and the highest tow rating of any mid-size pickup truck. Add in plenty of standard safety features and a comprehensive infotainment system, and it's easy to see why this truck has such a huge appeal across the country. Here are the facts, the numbers, the ugly truth about owning a Ram 1500, which really isn't a bad thing, but the numbers are a little bit scary. A Ram 1500 will depreciate in value by 46% or over $20,000 after five years of ownership. Of course, depreciation is difficult to avoid, but it can be managed. This is the difference between uh, the original sales price and what the vehicle will be worth in the future. When new, a typically equipped Ram 1500 sells on average for just over $45,000. After five years of depreciation, the average residual value will be $24,589, and this represents the vehicle's retail market price. This chart here shows the expected depreciation on a Ram 1500 over the next 10 years. These results are for vehicles in considered good condition, averaging 12,000 miles per year, also assumes a selling price, again, of $45,000 or so when new. Maintenance and repair should be considered because after five years, it'll amount to $4,500. These include scheduled maintenance, normal wear and tear items, and expected repairs, excluding any free warranty work that's performed. A little more about maintenance now on the long term. It will cost around $17,677 for maintenance and repairs during its first 10 years of service. The older it gets, the more expensive it gets. This is more than the industry average for popular pickup models by 7,600 bucks. There's also a 54.8% chance that a 1500 will require a major repair during that time. That includes anything that's over 500 bucks. This is 33.3% worse than similar vehicles in this segment. Since a Ram 1500 gets on average 20 miles per gallon, that will cost you around $9,700 for fuel for five years or about $1,900 annually. And these estimates are based on uh, recently collected national averages for fuel prices, assuming 12,000 miles of annual driving, 55% city, 45% highway. 
Here's another one, financing. The average cost to finance a new Ram 1500 would be 5,200 bucks after five years. This assumes a 72 month loan at an APR of 4.75% and a 20% down payment. Let's not forget insurance cost. The average annual cost for insurance on a Ram 1500 is just about 1,600 bucks, which adds up to almost $8,000 after five years of ownership. These insurance costs are estimates, of course, based on national averages for a 40-year-old with full coverage, a good driving record, and good credit. A natural question would be, should I buy new or used? If you were to buy a Ram 1500 that is two years old, you could save over $10,000 compared to buying brand new and still have a relatively new model with plenty of useful life remaining. If you plan to keep this vehicle for three years, which most of you probably will, the total cost of depreciation, again, just over $10,000. The best model years to consider of a Ram 1500, the 2020. That's the best model year value. With the 2020, you would only pay on average 84% of the price as new with 92% of the vehicle's useful life remaining. The 2018 and 19 model years are also attractive and provide a relatively good value. These values are based on multiple factors, including its price as new, current price, maintenance cost, and remaining years of overall predictable expenses. So if you are indeed interested in buying a Ram 1500, whether new or used, it's a good idea. Uh, check out quotes.everymandriver.com to find the best deals in your zip code from qualified dealerships. Again, quotes.everymandriver.com. It's a free search engine. Happy shopping and good luck. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.